deep in the swamps of Louisiana. Hunters are pushing into uncharted territory. But their bold plans come with a price. One of my favorite places to fish is Bayou Crookshank. It's a tough place to fish, but it's some good alligators there. I see grass moving. Me too. I don't see the line yet. I don't see the line at all. I don't know. That's that log shaking that grass, I think. Not again. Somebody cut our line. Poachers, Lord have mercy. Bayou Crook Shane, it's got a terrible reputation for poachers. They took the lines again. It's illegal for hunters to fish anywhere except for within the designated boundary lines that correspond with their individual tags. When someone steals from me, it's, it's a gut-wrenching experience. The poachers have set their own lines in Daniel's hunting territory. And to make matters worse, that was a 12-footer, T. Oh, yeah, he was 12. They aren't even keeping what they catch. Certainly, I'm going to try to find an alligator fisherman with pink flags in his boat. And if I do, we're going to have a few words. And it ain't going to be pretty. As night falls on Bayou Crook Shane, Daniel and Big T are staking out their poachers. I'm up to here with it. I can't take it anymore. We're going to confront him, and I'm hoping it's diplomatic. But if he's not diplomatic, I'm in the right, and I'm not going to back down. How about if they got guns, Mr. Daniel? Well, we got guns in this boat. The good Lord's willing, none of that has to happen. That they can't keep stealing from me. This is our livelihood. Mr. Daniel, I hear a boat pulled up. It's definitely a motor. Look, Mr. Daniel, look the light coming out of the bayou. That might be them. Let's just wait and see. It's coming. There's two of them. There's two of them in the boat. Watch them, T. They're stopping at the line. Not too loud, T. All right. Shall I go get them now? I just want to see if they lean over. Let, them, let me just see if they lean over by the pole like they're looking for the alligator. That, that, that's them, T. Hey! Hey, what the hell are y'all doing over there? Hold on. can't catch up with them, T. They're just so much faster than I am. I really thought I could get to them before they could get away. I thought I had a really good chance. They started and ran as hard as they could run. They just kept going and going and going and going. And once they go around the curve, there's so many canals, we lost them. I didn't recognize them. I don't know who they are. No, was. I don't know who they are either. Did you see how fast he got on that oh. engine? Did you see him trying to burn that thing out of there? <laughs> They got away from us. Well, and they're still running that boat. Oh, they ran. Wide open right now. I don't think they like the feeling they had when I yelled and the feeling that they got when I chased them. They're not coming back. I think that they got the message. Ready to go get us some rest? Let's go get some rest. We got lines to run tomorrow, T. I, I think it's better that I didn't catch them. Better for them and better for us. I think T and I accomplished what we wanted with this poaching problem. Because now they know that I might be out there at any time. I don't think they'll ever come back. Mission accomplished. I feel good about it. <laughs>